How's everybody doing? It's PR. I'm back with another video. This isn't going to be a football topic because ain't, ain't much football happening right now. And there are a lot of other Eagles fans who are covering Eagles topics, so that's great. I'm going to use this video to talk about one of my biggest pet peeves ever since I came onto the internet. What was it? 12, 13 years ago. Pretty much every social media outlet has people doing this thing that I that I hate, that I don't like, that is my pet peeve. When somebody says something that is idiotic or controversial and they get what they wanted, they got that attention, and people are either disagreeing with them, people are saying mean things about them, people are disagreeing, that's the bottom line. And the biggest response the most common response that I see from these people is, Look how many people I triggered! Look how many people got mad at my post! When they call you out on what you say, they tell you why what you said was either wrong or idiotic. And this is what it reminds me of. It reminds me of that scene at the end of the movie, Snatched, with Ike Barinholtz. It's right here. I love their house. That's honestly what that reminds me of, and I laugh every time because it's totally true. People who say this aren't looking for discourse. People who are saying this are looking for attention. And I'll be honest here, especially on Twitter and YouTube, Eagles fans are the best people to troll. Because you say something stupid or you say something controversial or you say something that they don't like and they will be on you like white on rice. What was it? that The British comedian John Oliver said something negative about Philadelphian Eagles fans and Eagles fans, they got mad about it. And honestly, what's the point? Are we really that sensitive that we're getting trolled by John Oliver? It doesn't... It's whatever. But... People who use that, oh, you got so triggered, you got so mad. You're not here for, for discourse. You're here to put in your non sequiturs. You're here to deflect. It's the best deflection for people who are trying to give you legitimate criticism. And people who use that line of you got triggered or you got mad, you're honestly playing the victim. Here's the thing. It is not weak to be wrong in an argument. I'm wrong. You're wrong. We've all been wrong before on the internet. Every single person has been wrong on the internet. Every single person in life, everyone has been wrong. Even the smartest person on this planet has been illogical and wrong. We aren't Vulcans, okay? We have emotions. Sometimes we even do get mad, but Calling person a person mad is not is not a response that is dignified or should even be dignified because it's a deflection. It has nothing to do with what's going on, especially if they're correcting you, especially if you are actually wrong, right? It actually looks weaker if you stand there and you play a professional victim, or you play the victim, and you cry, you got triggered, or I made you mad, stay away from me. That's what that sounds like. It sounds like you're not looking for criticism. It sounds like that throughout your life, no one ever disagreed with you. Throughout your life, you got mad and you threw tantrums whenever someone disagreed with you. Whenever you didn't get something that you wanted, you got upset. The irony is the fact that you are probably the most mad. You are probably the most angry. You are probably the most upset that the comments that you've received are not the comments that you wanted. Are not the comments that are making you feel good inside. It's constructive criticism. Yeah, some people do go out and they threaten people and they, they say mean things. I don't condone that. I don't. But here's the fact of the matter. Here on the internet, we have the open marketplace for ideas. And some ideas are not going to be the ideas that you want. Some ideas are going to be harmful opinions. 
And you're not going to like those harmful opinions. But the thing is, no one's mad at you. No one's triggered by you. If you get a lot of responses that are negative about something that you say, maybe you're wrong. You know, maybe you're not wrong. It's actually better, and it seems less weak, to double down and say, hey, you know, this is why I think I'm right, and this is why you are wrong. It's totally worse. It's 100% weaker. You look like SpongeBob with, like, pencil arms when you say something along the lines of, you got mad, you got triggered, look at what I did! <laughs> So that's my response to that. That is one of my biggest pet peeves on the internet. I try to speak logically. I try not to use, oh, the triggered response because it's not actually a response. You lose the moment you make that response. Because again, it's a non sequitur and it's a total deflection. That's all I have. It's PR. Peace. I'm out. See ya for the next video. Peace.